Happy New Year, Hawk fans. Once again, another edition of Take 5, our segment where we sit down with the St. Joseph student athlete and ask he or she five questions. And Katie Kuster recently named Big Five Player of the Week, Atlantic 10 Co-Player of the Week for the St. Joseph's Junior Guard. So congratulations on Thank those you. accolades. We figured we'd put you on the hot seat. You're our first guest here in 2011. So you ready to go? Yes, I am. First question. You've obviously at this point three years in the school. You've played in a lot of different venues mm -hmm. uh, outside of Hagen Arena. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite one to play in? Um, actually, you know, there's a few different arenas that really stick out in my mind. Vanderbilt University was an awesome arena to play in. They had like an elevated court. I don't know if you've ever been there, but their court's elevated off the ground. It's sort of like a stage setting, so you can look out, um, you know, to all the, the fans and stuff. That was really special. Um, in Maryland, of course, the Comcast Center, they have an awesome um, arena. So That, that elevated nice. court, though, you have to be careful with those, oh, yeah. with those loose balls. You don't want to chase Absolutely. one too far. Absolutely. No, no. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I was a freshman when I played there, but, you know, you definitely did. Have, you could get very injured on that court, but it was awesome. I really liked playing there. Over the years, you've really uh, developed a knack uh, for being this team's assassin from mm -hmm. the outside, or, or one of them anyway. Mm -hmm. What's the deepest place uh, on the floor that you've ever attempted a shot? Um... I mean, I have attempted half-court shots. In high school, I made one. This year, we were in Princeton double overtime. I had a chance to make one to take us out of the second overtime, but missed. Um, but it's funny. Everyone says that I just don't have a lot of depth perception. I sort of just look at the hoop, and if it's in range, then I launch. So Do you wear contacts? <laughs> I do not. I do not. <laughs> but if, it, if I just look at that rim, and if I think, OK, let's give it a shot, then I, I, I don't hold back. So. Some of our viewers uh, probably don't know this. Uh, some of them probably do. Mm -hmm. Your dad, John, he's the head coach of the Detroit Pistons. Mm -hmm. What's it like, uh, obviously, uh, having a parent like that, somebody uh, who's in the spotlight in, in the NBA? Mm -hmm. um, it's really special because he does have a great knowledge of the game, and he loves women's basketball. I mean, I, I definitely, not to be selfish, but I definitely come first for him. I mean, women's basketball <laughs> is his priority almost sometimes. But... Um, you know, he always sends me texts. He always calls me before and after every game. He watches every single game that he can. So he's just very supportive, and his knowledge of the game brings a great IQ to myself. So it helps. Did, yeah. did he ever coach any of your teams? He did. He coached one of my AAU teams when I was younger. He was an assistant. The girls loved him. He, he just has a great knowledge of the game. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, you don't probably get a whole lot of time to watch TV mm -hmm. uh, when the season's going on. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, basketball is almost like a job at this yeah. point with, uh, with school going on. What, when you do have time, what are some of your favorite TV shows? I have a wide variety um, of shows that I like. Obviously, SportsCenter is always on in my house. Um, but I love Law & Order SVU. I like Man vs. Food. Um, a lot of the reality television shows on MTV I like to watch too, but yeah, I don't really have a lot of time. So, but when I can, Sports Center is definitely always uh, a very solid show that I'll always watch. So. And finally, our wild card question: mm -hmm. uh, you, One thing you do get to do on road trips, mm -hmm. you watch movies, obviously. Yes. Uh, teammates a lot of the time pick out the movies. Mm -hmm. Who is uh, the worst? of your teammates <laughs> at picking movies. Oh my goodness, absolutely our, our manager, Claire, is the worst. She picks out like the cartoon movies and we're just like, Claire, what, what are you doing? Like, we don't want to watch this, but <laughs> it's funny. She's the best manager ever, but she, does, she doesn't pick them that well. What's, so. the, what's the worst one you've seen recently? Uh, oh my goodness, she wanted this cartoon movie. Uh, I can't remember what it's, it started with. It started with a C, it's a new one. But we put it on and literally watched five seconds of it and had to turn it off, put Mean Girls on right away. So it just wasn't working. Much better choice, yes, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. All right, well, Katie, you've survived the Take 5 hot seat. Yes. Once again, congratulations on being named Big 5 Player of the Week, Thank Atlantic you. 10 Co-Player of the Week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll catch you around campus. Thank you. That's Katie Kuster, uh, once again, our guest on Take 5 here on St. Joseph's All Access. You can catch Katie and St. Joseph's women's basketball on Wednesday, January 12th against Xavier right here at Hagen Arena. For St. Joseph's All Access, I'm Matt Martucci. We'll see you on our next edition of Take 5.